is going on, Urban Adventures. I am in ninja mode. Man, it is in the single digits today. I am in this I am up here at this beautiful red lake for the first time. And now we try to get away from the crowd, but nowhere, no matter where we went, there's the crowds everywhere as you can see behind me. Look at all that. All behind me. It's like you can't get away from the crowd unless you have an ATV or a snowmobile. You're not gonna escape the crowd. So we walked out pretty much two miles. My nephew was checking his uh, GPS on his phone, and yeah, we walked out two miles, and there's still all these people out here. So, but yeah, we've been here since three o'clock in the morning, and the fishing has been really tough. And my life scope up, and and every time we see a walleye come through, they'll just come right through right past our bait they don't they didn't even look at it so right now you can tell that they are very highly pressured from all these fishermen so they are not gonna get with the program and we did manage uh, a 16 inch walleye earlier from one of my brother-in-laws and uh, that took a lot of hard work too so yeah, that was just caught on a dead stick with a minnow while we were falling asleep while we were fishing so but anyways make sure you hit the like share and comment and oh i got a fish oh that one oh that one Sorry guys, they didn't mean to drop the phone, but as I was talking to you guys, this fish just came up and hit my my lure. Look at this guys. My first Red Lake walleye. Oh my god, I can't believe that that just happened. Wow, look at that. Holy cow, I was on a look down on my flasher and I see this big red mark just came up and boom and slammed my rod. Oh my god. What lure am I using anyways? I don't even remember. Holy cow. Okay, let's take a look at the lure. Sorry guys, it's gonna be very choppy. But oh yeah, look how cold it is. My glove is stuck to my rod. Oh yeah, okay. I remember now. I'm using a red buckshot. Sorry guys. I'm have you have you guys like all over everywhere. Yeah, buckshot. Just plain buckshot. And this red color, I think this is a eighth ounce, or maybe it was a sixteenth ounce. I don't remember, but yeah, it's about an inch long. But wow, I cannot believe that that just happened while well, doing my introduction, and I caught a walleye. Oh my god, guys, I'm stoked! I'm stoked! I am a believer of the Red Lake walleyes. Oh my god, let's go catch another one, guys. Let's go! Let's go! All right, guys, what seems to be working for these walleyes is aggressive jigging so i'm just i just pop this hole and i'm just jigging vigorously just like this just big jigs and then i'll pause for a second as close to the bottom as i can and sometimes i'll just tap the bottom too and then i'll just jig it up and that seems to bring them in had a few of them came in i lost one just about five minutes ago my battery died and uh, I had to go back to the shanty to go get my battery. But yeah. Oh, and it kept killing, huh? Oh, he came and looked at my bait too. Yeah, I told y'all. I'm just gonna leave it dead stuck. Yeah. Why you lucky, huh? Yeah, you're lucky. You're lucky, you're lucky. That would have been cool if he doubled up. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, oh yeah, he's still there. He's still thinking. <laughs> you know he wants it. Oh guys, it was an unsuccessful day. 
probably not a huge video but a lot of things went wrong first trip of the season forgot a lot of things we took uh, one vehicle and a trailer we were supposed to get, have an ATV but that got, that got backfired so we had to go we get my smitty belt sled and we got a whole bunch of other stuff so it was not fun I think we ended up with uh, six walleyes out of the four of us and that was it next time buy an ATV next episode ATV Signing out. See you in the next episode.